If a power outlet or light switch in your house randomly stops working, there are a few easy things you could do before calling out an electrician that will hopefully get your power back on. Recently, the lights in our bathroom just randomly stopped working. You would come in, flip the switch on, and the lights would not come on. My first thought was that the light bulb burned out, so I replaced the light bulb and sure enough, nothing worked. And just to confirm that the light bulbs were indeed good, I took out my meter and double checked, and yes, the light bulbs were actually good. The next thing to check would be for a trip breaker in the breaker panel. Normally, a trip breaker will be in the middle position between the off and the on. To reset the breaker, just flip it to the off position and then back on. Even if the breaker is not tripped, I would still try resetting it. In my case, the master bathroom is 26, which is this breaker right over here. When resetting the breaker, if you heard a sparking or sizzling noise, then your breaker may be bad. If you would like to see an example of a bad breaker and how to replace it, I have a video where I replaced my water heater breaker on this panel. Unfortunately, resetting the breaker did not make the lights come back on in my bathroom. So I moved on to the next step, which is looking for a tripped GFCI outlet either in this room, in the bathroom, or in one of the rooms next to it. And this is where I found my culprit, which was across the room. It turns out that this GFCI outlet is wired to half of the outlets in the room and the lights. So when this thing trips, the lights in the bathroom go out. All of these GFCI outlets will have a reset button on them that you press to reset the outlet. It's like a little breaker. And there's also a test button that you could use to test it to see what will turn off or what outlets or lights would turn off if this thing tripped. So let's try this once. I'm gonna press the test button so we can see how the lights in the bathroom will come off. From my experience, a tripped GFCI outlet is the most common reason why a light switch or a power outlet somewhere in the room just stops working. Because many times there's many outlets and light switches on one circuit. So if that thing trips, it takes out half of the room. And one more tip about those GFCIs, they could be in sneaky locations. So make sure you look behind shelves, you look behind racks, and you even look outside or in other rooms. In our previous rental house, we had a time when half of the kitchen just stopped working, half of the outlets, the lights, and the oven stopped working. And for the longest time, I could not find where the GFCI was and the breaker wasn't tripped either. Eventually, I figured out that the GFCI was actually outside on the patio. And when that thing tripped, half of the kitchen went off. If a trip breaker or GFCI was not your problem, then there is one more thing you could do before ultimately calling out an electrician. And that is to physically inspect outlets that may be bad. Maybe they're burnt out or there's a wire that is broken. Usually there's only three or four outlets in the room, so it won't take too long to take them apart and take a look if there's anything bad or broken in there. I found that a good place to start is where the power is interrupted. So for example, if you have four outlets, there's power on number one, two, but not on three and four, then I would start with outlet number two because power is getting to it, but it's not passing through it to go to number three. So I would start with that one. And if there's nothing wrong with it, then eventually I'd probably just take all four of them apart just to take a look and see if there's any burnt marks or any broken parts on those outlets. Do make sure that the power is turned off and verify that it's off before taking apart any outlets. If you do find a burnt spot on the outlet, I would replace that whole outlet. And between the outlet, a trip breaker, or a GFCI, hopefully one of those was able to solve your power problem. If you have any other tips that I didn't mention in this video, please let us know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. And if you're still here and not in the comment section below, let me tell you a little story about Sherlock Holmes. So one time, Sherlock and Watson go on a camping trip, they set up their tent, and they get into the tent at night and they go to sleep. And in the middle of the night, Sherlock wakes up Watson and he's like, Watson, look up in the sky and tell me what you see. Watson looks up and says, it's amazing. There's so many stars. There must be so many galaxies and universes, so much more things we don't know. It's just mind blowing. What do you think? Sherlock looks at him and says, Watson, you fool. Someone stole our tent.